Hello and welcome to Storytime with Miss Nikki on this beautiful fall or autumn day. What's your favorite thing about fall? For me, the best thing about fall is the beautiful fall colors. I love when the leaves start to change color. Have you ever wondered why the leaves change color in the fall? Well, let's find out together. Today, I have a book titled, Why Do Leaves Change Color? It is written by Betsy Maestro and illustrated by Loretta Kripinski. Look at the leaves. It's autumn and leaves are turning red and yellow, gold and brown. Each type of tree has its own kind of leaves. The colors of autumn leaves differ from tree to tree. Some oak leaves may be brown or yellow, while maple leaves may turn bright red. Leaves come in different sizes and shapes as well as colors. Some leaves are wide and others narrow. Some have points, while others may be rounded. How many different kinds can you find? Just a few weeks ago, all the leaves were green. Back in the spring, the tiny new leaves uncurled from their buds. The green color in the leaves helped them to absorb or hold sunlight. Chlorophyll gives the leaves their green coloring Chlorophyll is a natural coloring called a pigment. Leaves are very important to the tree. They make a kind of sugar that is the tree's food. Leaves need sunlight, water, and air to make this food. The leaves work to feed the tree all summer long. The sugar is used by all parts of the tree. The leaves branches, trunk, and roots. The food or sugar helps the tree to grow. Extra sugar is stored in the leaves. In the fall, many things are changing. In many places, there is a change in the weather. There are changes in light and temperature. Inside the leaves, there will be many changes too. All of these changes bring about the beautiful colors of fall. In the fall, there are fewer hours of sunlight each day. The change in light tells the tree to get ready for winter. Winter is a time of rest for the tree. When winter comes, the tree will have to survive with less water and sunlight. The tree begins to get ready for its winter rest. It needs very little food now and the leaves stop their work. The life of the leaves is almost at an end. The tree no longer needs them. When the leaves die, they will fall from the tree. This will happen slowly over a number of weeks. As the leaves begin to separate from the tree, they get less water. Without water, the leaves cannot make new chlorophyll. The old chlorophyll begins to fade. The green color starts to disappear. Now, other colors can be seen in the leaves. Other pigments have been in the leaves all along, but they are hidden by the dark green of the chlorophyll. Once the green color fades, the yellow and orange pigments can be seen. These pigments give color to the leaves of birches, poplars, and elms. Some foods like bananas and carrots get their natural yellow and orange coloring from these same pigments. They also give color to some flowers. Maybe you can think of some. Autumn leaves have other colors as well. The yellows and oranges have been in the leaves all along. 
Other pigments are made as the leaves begin to die. These new pigments are made from the extra sugar stored in the leaves. Sunlight causes the stored sugar to change to pigment. The new pigments make some leaves turn red, rust, or purple. The more sugar there is, the brighter the colors will be. Bright days and cool nights seem to bring out the best fall colors. Maple leaves get their red color from these new pigments. Many flowers and some foods such as beets and radishes get their color from these red pigments. The bright red of sumac leaves shows up only in the fall when these pigments form. Some trees, like oaks, make tannin in the fall. Tannin is not a pigment, but it does color the leaves. Some oak leaves turn a rich brown color in autumn. See if you can find some. You may still be able to see some green coloring too. The changing color of autumn leaves is caused by changes in weather and light. This is why the colors are not the same every year. The best leaf colors usually come with lots of bright sunshine and crisp, clear nights. Too much rain may make the colors dull. An early frost may kill the leaves too soon. Evergreen trees like pines and spruces keep their leaves all year. But in cool climates, other trees must lose their leaves to survive in winter. After the leaves have changed color, they are ready to separate from the tree. When they are just barely hanging on, a little bit of wind or rain will make them fall to the ground. In just a short time, the tree will begin to look bare. Piles of dead leaves collect under the tree. Some will blow away. Others will be raked up. The leaves that are left will begin to rot. Over time, they will become part of the soil. Rotting leaves enrich the soil with minerals. The tree needs to stay healthy. When the last of the leaves have fallen, the tree is ready for winter. During the cold weather, the tree will be dormant or resting. New leaf buds have already formed. Next spring, they will open and begin to make food for the tree. But now, in fall, it's time to enjoy the colors of the leaves. Beautiful autumn foliage cannot be seen everywhere. Only some places, such as New England, have displays of many colors. This is because the weather conditions there are usually just right and there are so many different kinds of trees. Fall is a time to have fun with leaves. It's a time to take in the sights and sounds of the leaves. It's a time for jumping into great piles of leaves and then sometimes a time for raking them up. Fall is a time to get ready for winter. The trees are ready. Are you? The end. In this book, there are two fun activities you can do with leaves. I hope you get to try them.